The world of manufacturing is changing rapidly, driven mainly by advances in things like robotics and digital technologies. Here at the University of Sheffield, we're leading in these areas, particularly with the support of our research groups, such as Sheffield Robotics, the Enabling Sciences for Intelligent Manufacturing Group, and the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre. There is a need for innovation within UK manufacturing. Through working with the university, we have a research push, and we're able to represent the voice of the, the customer for an industrial pull. The future of this collaboration will see more core research shaped by industry, such that our fundamental application of the technology is relevant to industry and continues to be that way. Working with the smaller companies of South Yorkshire, we've noticed that collaborative robots and AGVs will actually help them considerably. One of the things that's stopping them being implemented is the fact that people don't understand how they're going to work, how they're going to react, and they want to feel more comfortable with them. So we're working with the University of Sheffield to actually come up with a highway code, a method of interacting with these autonomous robots. At the moment I'm working on uh, researching um, natural speech language for collaborative robots. We have already collaborative robots ready, but they're very hard to control and to use, uh, and needs very high skilled engineers. So the whole idea is to uh, make it very simple so that human and robots can interact in the same way two people interact with each other. ROS stands for Robot Operating System. This is a software package that's been developed over many years and it's now kind of reaching a maturity where it's kind of ready to be moved into the kind of industrial commercial setting. So here we have an example where we're using a small industrial robot um, performing a pick and place task. We're collecting data and using AI and machine learning to make more of the robotics. And really our role is to try and allow both large and small businesses to bring a robotics and automation into their kind of processes um, much more easily than has been previously available. As part of the work we're doing in digital twinning, it allows us to construct simulations that are parallel to the physical system. And what this allows us to do is form imagery through tools such as augmented reality. And what this means is that it's, it becomes a very effective tool not only in communicating what's actually happening in the physical system, but also in tests that we can perform, such as uh, perturbation and mutation testing, which allows us to demonstrate very clearly to industrial partners what we're, what we're trying to achieve in research, which may be otherwise difficult to test in the real world. The MRC feels it's extremely important to reach a wider target audience in regards to STEM related subjects, particularly in regards to manufacturing robotics. Um, the MRC mantra it supports the MRC STEM and outreach team to engage with young people across the country by visiting schools, STEM events and science festivals.